today who is certainly going to be a blessing. We have gone with him many places and been a, a blessing. This Prophet Manto, man of God. Please, Karibu. Welcome, Prophet Manto. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Let's lift our hands. Thank you, Lord. And let's pray. Stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Have your way in our life. Have your way in our midst. Have your way in this day. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing of the Lord. It makes rich and adds no sorrow. Thank you for the new thing that you're about to do. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your blessings. We're so grateful, Jesus, for you. That you came to give us new life. came to give us a purpose and a destiny. Keep praying. You came to do something great in and through us that this crazy world can become a better place because we're here. Thank you for the call of God. Father, we give you praise for the gift of life. Thank you that we're here, no matter what has ever happened before. We want to say thank you for your protection all these years to take us around the world. Millions of miles, millions of people, yet we're still here, still strong, still blessed, still encouraged, still empowered. Thank you, Father, for your grace, your anointing. It's the greatest thing. Thank you for your touch. Thank you for your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding. Look at all these babies, they're so cute. I like all their hair. Good different color hair, green, blue, pink. That's good. <laughs> Father, thank you for what you're about to do. Keep praying. You know, people don't pray. That's why you're broke. That's why you don't have much. Lift your hands and pray. You got to pray if you want God to come and do something for you. Man, I say pray and people just go, uh, uh, uh. That's why you don't have nothing. There's nothing more pathetic than seeing broke Christians. You're supposed to be rich. You're supposed to be rich beyond measure. You're supposed to have money flowing everywhere, all kinds of new things. Yeah, that's the way. That's the way it's supposed to be for the believer, for the person who's under the hand of God. I wrote to one of my staff last night, I said, broke, there's broke, there's being broke. It's not an attribute of someone who is really heavily under the anointing of God. A little softer, my brother, on the keyboard, a little softer. The musician should always accompany and support, not compete. Good music flows. A good driver, you won't know they're there. A good usher, you won't know they're there. They do their thing and they, everything flows. A little softer, my brother. A little bit softer. Volume. Keep going, don't stop, keep going, but just, you got it. Lift your hands. Father, we give you praise for your favor. Wow. 
Proverbs 10.22 says, The blessing of the Lord makes one rich and adds no trouble or sorrow with it. The Proverbs 13.22 says, The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. Isaiah 45, 2 and 3 says, Treasures of hidden places, things seen, unseen, known, unknown, expected, unexpected, are to come to you. Are you praying? Are you praying? I don't hear anybody praying. Hello? Pastor, I'm, I'm shocked. People, my, some places you'd say that and they'd just go to a roar and go crazy and run around and start throwing chairs. What a, even in Kampala, I saw that. Even in Nigeria, my God. People begin to pray. Or Kenya. Kenya needs to come up to the next level now. People need to come up to the next level in the God. Come on, pray. Keep praying. You pray like this. Kapro shakata teko sakata. If you don't know how to do that, you can say, Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, I love you. Please touch me. Please fill me. Please anoint me. Lord, touch my life. Thank you, Father, for your anointing. Don't ask him for anything right now. Don't ask him for anything to do with your problems. It's time to pray to get close and connected. And when you connect, oh my God, that's when God begins to answer things that you didn't even ask him. Remember the scripture says, while the need is there, before it's even like for, uh, uh, full, he'll come and answer. He'll solve the problem before you even ask sometimes. Because you're under the hand of God. Now, this is like a celebration day, but we need to celebrate. <laughs> There's the anointing flow right now. Wow. We need to celebrate God first. Not man, God. God will touch the man, and man is to be honored. Absolutely, 100%. Man is to be honored, a man that's faithful, will abound in the blessings, and receive double honor. The elders who rule well, not just elders, but elders who rule well, will receive double honor. Absolutely. But we need to connect with God. We need to step up and get under the anointing. And then watch, miracles begin to happen. Quickly while we're praying, I'll tell you a quick testimony. Yesterday morning, a woman who has a farm, Shamba, she had a full harvest, and she said, Prophet, uh, people never pay, pay her. They never paid her the money up front. And I said, watch the miracle, because you've been honoring to me. You're hosting me well. You're doing something to, for me. Watch what happens. She went 6 o'clock in the morning to the market and was paid all the cash, cash up front, sold the whole entire harvest 100%, and was paid cash in full. She said, that's never happened before. I said, that was the miracle because you connected with the anointing. So my part here today, I feel from the Lord, is to release new fire from heaven. That's the best thing I can do for you. Release new fire from heaven and to help you connect with Jehovah and get under his anointing and all these things you want, all these things you want to see happen, all these things you want to do in your life, will begin to flow easily because of God's presence. Father, we want to celebrate you today. Let's, let's, let's make this God, I, this is prophetic. Let's make this God's appreciation day. <laughs> is that okay? I think that's okay. I think that's really appropriate. Oh my God, hallelujah. Let's praise him. Let's worship him. When he shows up, that's what we want. That's what we want, Lord. We want you. We don't want a program. We don't want religiosity. We don't want just a gathering of people. We want a gathering of people to be touched by him. Oh, Lord. And when that happens, Fire from the altar. Our God is a consuming fire. He consumes wickedness. 
but he consumes problems that you have. He's a consuming fire. He's the God who answers by fire. He's the God who answers issues in life. And partnership, partnership is to be done with anointing. When you partner with anointing, things happen that never happened before. How many are ready for the miraculous more in your life? Let me see your hands. You want to see God do something. Keep praying. I want this to be a prayer session. I think there's another service. I don't know if people are coming. And uh, but it's just a prayer time. Celebration of God. Yes. Keep praying. If you don't have a prayer line, it's just okay. No problem. Don't ever let anybody act like you're not as saved as them. Because you don't speak in tongues. No, believe God for the gift. Let's love each other. Let's be gentle with each other. Let's celebrate. Let's be honorable to each other. But let's pray that people receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. Because that's what's going to change a nation. That's what will change society. Servants of God here, people of God here, I want to say this. You need a fresh anointing. You need a fire of the Holy Ghost. You need God's power to come upon you and visit your life. And then all the things that you thought about and desired and wanted, God will then trim them, you know, fine-tune things to get it all into his perfect plan. <laughs> and then you'll begin to see the miraculous. The supernatural will be natural for you. Imagine that. God help the person that's so shallow that would come to an event like this and talk about man instead of God. No, we need God. And when God gets on the man, woo, look out. Oh, you babies over there, lift your hands, you precious young people. Lift your hands up. Whoa, the fire is coming on you. I see it happen. There it is. Touch them, Lord. Raise them up to be great servants of the Lord. Great business people. I pray that some will get anointed even to go into government in the nation of Kenya. To be government leaders and officials filled with the Holy Ghost. Not corrupt, but wanting, wanting to work for a new society. That's right, they're standing up with honor. Bless you. Oh, the power of God's coming on you. Dreamers. Thinkers. Producers. Administrators, ministers, business people, entrepreneurs, the next generation. Thank you, Father, for making this a house of bread, a house of life for the community, for other people to come in here. But the first order of the day, number one, is the anointing. The first order of the day is his anointing. When you, I feel it, I feel this power, I feel this presence coming on me so strong right now. When that happens, woo, now you're going to have a great day, you're going to have a great week, you're going to have a great life because of his touch. The presence of the Lord is here. I can feel the atmosphere changing. Just receive the touch right now. Some of you today and people coming in the next service after in a few minutes. The Lord is going to do something awesome here today. Something is going to happen on this hill, this hill here. And one, 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 DJ Market, one, DJ Market, town area. Something new and fresh. God's going to raise up business people. He's going to anoint entrepreneurs. He's going to anoint distribution of products and services. He's going to anoint places, people with businesses. They're going to begin to prosper. I prophesy that economy, the economy is going to be shifted and changed. But it's because of the touch of the anointing. That's where we have to start. And I pray you preachers will catch this. Start with God. Don't ever lift yourself up. Lift him up. 
I have a friend who's in Kenya. He's a phenomenon. He's a multi, multi billionaire. Not one or two or three, but 10 and 20 and 30. Even more than that. He was written about in uh, Forbes, Africa. And they said he was worth about $150 million. $150 million US dollars. He's a very humble man. And I read one of his memes on his program. Keep praying, keep praying, let's keep praying. I got five more minutes and so we're gonna shift. We're gonna shift it and we're gonna go into the next service. He said, don't lift yourself up. Humble yourself. He said, you don't learn anything by lifting yourself up to make yourself have a position. We don't learn anything. You have to listen, ask questions, humble yourself, get into new readers, get information. And we need to study, we need to gain knowledge, we need to learn about things. Whatever your calling is, whatever your assignment is, whatever your mission is in life, whatever God has given you to do, you need to study about that. And you need to inquire of heaven to find out, to get the impartation on how to do what you're called to do. And the better that you get at it, the more people you'll reach. Proverbs 22, 29 says, See a man diligent in his business. This one will stand before kings and great ones, not before unknown and common people all the time. They'll stand before greatness because they develop themselves. One thing the anointing of God will do is to put you into a realm of searching for excellence. Keep praying. Come on. God's doing something here. God's doing something here. Oh, Lord. I love it. I feel the power of heaven. Pastor, God's going to use you. Mama, his wife, God's going to use you. The people here, God's going to use you in new ways after this day. Let me prophesy that. Some new dimensions are opening to you. Some new knowledge, some new revelation, some new understanding. You're going to see. Let's wave our hands to the Lord. Stay, let's stay, let's stay in his presence now. The power of God's falling here. The Holy Spirit is very sensitive, you know, he's very, that's why the parallel was put like he's like a dove. He can hear a sound and feel a vibration and something not right and just fly away. You need to be very careful about cultivating your, your atmosphere in his presence. I've never seen a place like Kenya where there's so much agitation, so much demonic foolishness. People that are full of devils, they got devils on them. There's devils in their house. There's devils in the towns. There's not, there's chaos everywhere. I see it everywhere I go. It's not right. I said it's not right. Someone shout, it's not right. Say it's not for us. He said that very quietly. Can you shout, it's not for us. Say it with power, it's not for us. Come on. You're making me work too hard. I need a good offering now. Thank you, you're making me work. Keep praying. Keep praying. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Keep praying. Come on, keep praying. Ah. Bishop, I see the anointing falling here everywhere over this land. I see it happening. God is moving. Karabo, Shatarabah. 
the visitation of heaven is coming to this land. I can see it. Bishop, Bishop, I see the glory just moving. Everybody lift your hands. I see the glory coming like a portal opening from heaven. Just raining down fire, raining down glory. It's not just here. I see the whole, this whole area, the whole town, the whole region, just something is opening for this region. It's amazing what's about to happen. And people are gonna get anointed in three areas, government, business, and ministry. Government, Business people, government people, and ministry people are going to get anointed by the Holy Ghost. I break this witchcraft. I break this bondage that's been on people. You know, some people are really saved. Listen to me. Some people are really saved. They love God. They know church. They're in church years and years. And yet they carry all this tension, all this agitation, all this... This stuff that's upon them, it's really bad. You gotta, you gotta stop for a minute. I'm praying for everyone that comes around me and everybody, I pray for 50 million people in the whole country. Lift their hands, I pray for the whole nation. But I hope it can happen in our lifetime. Where millions of people get on fire. No devil can exist in their presence. People come together, there's no problem, there's no disruption, there's no distraction, there's no... It's just the glory of God. I see, I'm seeing a vision right now, I'm seeing the portal, if you want to call it that, a gateway, a door opening in the heavenly realm. <laughs> and it's like angels are coming out, walking out, many thousands of angels walking out and coming down upon the earth and moving between heaven and earth here. Something is about to happen in this land. Something phenomenal and great is gonna happen in this land. And we're gonna find the people, Lord. We're gonna find them, they're gonna find us. We're gonna to be together as friends and partners and connected to bring the move of God across this nation, across this land. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So be it. I say, you know,